Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and today I want to show you a quick trick to add punch and attack, snap to your guitars. This is a trick. I call it trick but in reality it's simply a specific setting of a parallel channel which I use to get a very specific result. I used this trick for years and by now I know it works pretty much every time. So when do I use this and what I want to get out of it? I use it on rhythmic guitars. Once you understand the concept, you can experiment with other instruments as well. But guitars is what I use it for with the specific setting and plugin that I'm gonna show you. I use it usually on distorted guitars when I want more attack, more articulation to make whatever rhythmic pattern the guitars are playing more intelligible and give it more impact. And one of the reasons is because naturally distortion flattens the dynamics of the instrument. That's the nature of distortion, it's normal. And on some mixes, especially rock, punk, modern stop and go rhythmic guitar patterns, you might need a bigger impact and a clearer articulation of the attack, of the peak attack. So how do I do that? This is a song from the Audio Road album that I just finished mixing a few weeks ago. The track is called Numbers, and for this track I only had a pair of rhythmic guitars, left and right, double tracked, and I needed more impact for the part they are playing that we're gonna listen in a minute. As usual, I'm missing all the hardware I used for this mix, which was something like 18 channels of analog gear between EQs and compression and my two bus processing, which is a big part of the sound, so nothing here sounds even close to the to the final product and everything is out of balance but bear with me but it's not gonna be a problem i'm still gonna be able to show you this trick so let me play you a bit of the mix Again, keep in mind that nothing is sounding as was intended to because all the missing hardware, but yeah, let's get to the trick. So I have these four guitar tracks here and they all go to my guitar bus where I have some processing on. But uh, if we listen to the pattern they are playing, there's this stop and go pattern I just wanted more attack for the stop and go part. And what did I do was to send my guitar bus to this X Comp 2 aux channel. And in this X Comp 2 channel, this yellow here, I have the SSL channel that is doing nothing uh, just for the color, just for the gain staging, as you know. And the specific plugin is the API 2500. Now, I used to use the SSL G Comp for this in past, but a few years ago I switched to the API 2500. I like it better for this specific task. And the trick really is only in the settings of this plugin. Uh, there's a lot of compression going on. So it's up to 12 dB of compression. Now you're not listening to this channel and the attack is at 30 so it's a very slow attack so the first part of the transient passes uncompressed the ratio is at 10 it could be at infinity at limiting sometimes uh, i put it there and the release in this case is very fast usually is very fast sometimes you have to uh, tweak it to the time to the tempo of the music and it's independent the link because, well, we have two performances. I want to keep the stereo image pretty wide as is. The type is in new mode, so is in feed forward mode. So the compressor is snappier than would be in old feedback mode. And the tone is at mid, so we are boosting a little bit of high end 
in the detector circuit in the internal sidechain and shaving off some low end. So the compression is triggered pretty much by the mid frequencies of the guitars, which is what's important here. And the knee is hard and there's automatic makeup gain. So let's listen to just this channel. Let me turn the volume up so you can hear it. You hear how snappy is every note they, the guitar play? Now let's listen to just the guitars without the, the X comp channel. Listen how much softer this part here is. And So being a parallel channel, now we blend the two to taste and that's the result. Not only we have more attack, we have more density in the whole guitar bus, but yeah, it's this simple. We just set the compressor with a very slow attack, a lot of compression, a very high ratio, and they're least to taste, usually pretty fast. Then we just inject this parallel bus to taste. Let's hear it in the context of the track. What you do? Without. So it's pretty, it's pretty obvious. I'm turning it up higher than would be in the mix, but uh, like I said, n nothing really sounds as it's supposed to without the hardware. But uh, yeah, so it's really pretty simple. Uh, if you don't have the API 2500, and this was not planned at all, I'm gonna try to do the same thing with the stock compressor. So let me solo the part. And let's try to copy the settings. Let's put the knee all the way to zero, which already is. Let's put the attack around 30 milliseconds. Very high ratio. Cut some lows from the detector. As you can hear, it's kind of the same effect. But um, yeah, the API 2500 just works well for this. This is why I, I love this plugin for this specific task. Let's hear the difference. It really pops up every note. Let's hear the stock compressor. Kind of, <laughs> but not really the same, right? So yeah, if you have it, this is this is what I use the the twenty five hundred. Uh, it's made for this for guitars. It really is. I actually I'm using the hardware right now uh, for this in my mixes because I don't use the twenty five hundred 
often on the two bus as I was before. But yeah, if you don't have that, these are pretty much the settings. Uh, slow attack, fast release, a lot of compression, and just make the the first part of the transient pass. And um, that's that's the concept of this trick, pretty much. And that's a wrap. This is it for this video. I hope it was informative and I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button and share it around. Leave your comments and questions down below. Let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook and Twitter to stay in touch with us and get all the news about the channel, upcoming videos and series, and access to exclusive content. Keep supporting Mixbus TV by sharing the videos and spreading the word on blogs, forums, social media. Subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time.